How are they doing? Yeah. I mean, okay. Uh, sloppy, but, you know, at, at times today, but when you're doing it, we're getting so many different guys' reps uh, out there, you know, and you're going ones, twos, and threes. You've really got to look and evaluate it on film, you know, on, on the relevant improvement of certain players, and uh, uh, that's what we'll see when we watch the film. Any disappointing moments near the end of practice getting tired of those pads on? No. You know, I mean, I just, like, like I say, I mean, you got to see it on film because you could have a disappointing moment and it's a third, fourth string walk on that's in there that went the wrong way on a play and it looks bad. But, you know, I, I, I don't think that's going to affect us winning and losing games next year. So that's the thing we got to evaluate is make sure who's improving, who's getting themselves ready to play. And, you know, and you can teach off those moments. So, but uh, uh, I think when you get out here, when you do have so many guys get reps, you get into a game. On offense or defense, 22 to 25 guys are getting reps. On practice today, 50 are getting reps on both sides of the ball. So, um, you know, you have to just teach and learn. First day of contact for the younger guys, what do you think of them? So, you know, first time doing this for them. We'll watch it on film. You know, I mean, I don't I, – looks. I mean, if, if I, I hope they liked it. I didn't see anybody that didn't like it. If you don't like it, this isn't the sport for you. So, uh, But it looks like, you know, I mean, they're going to go put their face on you and run around and hit people. And, uh, you know, guys practicing with energy, and that's one of the things we want. You we talked about pick. last week about making sure y'all watch the number of reps, the time for that guy, and be smart with that. Mm -hmm. How do you feel like that's going to work? Good. I mean, we really haven't even gotten into it or got going yet. And, and you know, you look at practice and right now, I mean, I don't think it's very stressful. And, and the fact that we get day off in between uh, really helps. And, um, and hopefully Sam uh, Cowers out here to hand the ball off a couple times, and that gives them a little breather at times. So, uh, That'll help as we keep going. How's the pace of practice kind of change when you put the pads on? A little bit. You know, I mean, there's a little getting used to. I mean, you're slower getting out here to practice. And, you know, you just grab a helmet. You grab your helmet run out on the field. There's guys adjusting their pads and getting used to hitting and being out here. So uh, I, I think that adjustment always comes in this first day uh, of being in full pads. But, uh, you know, I, I do think I like our older guys take a lead, and our younger guys are really trying to follow that lead of the older guys to keep uh, keep tempo, keep the energy, keep the effort up in practice. You know, Danico doing some first team, doing some second team. How's he taking all those snaps? I mean, how's he adjusting to this? Good. You know, I mean, that's a guy we got to get ready to play. So, you know, get some of the guys that have gotten less reps in the past, you know, they're going to get a lot more reps in the spring so they can get caught up uh, so that we're ready to go when we come around to the season. No, you haven't watched the film, but how impressive a specimen is he when you watch him out He's, he's a good athlete. You know, he's a real good athlete. And, um, you know, uh, once he figures out, he got to know the scheme and he's got to get down his fundamentals. Um, you know, and not just play on raw athletic ability. And, and I think as he do that, he'll, he'll have the opportunity to see real significant improvement. With Fletcher gone, what do you see from Josh kind of taking over that leadership role on the line? Well, you know, I mean, he has to. You know, I mean, he is he's the guy that they all look to on the defensive line and, and really one of the guys they look to on the whole defense. And, uh, uh, you know, and, and he's got to do it by himself up front there now. And, uh, you know, so I think that is a a, a new role for him, but I, I think he's done it. He was, he was a decent leader for us last year, and even though he had more help. In that position, he's he's used to having to, to be a guy inside for us. Get some guys banged up, Broomfield, uh, Cardell, look like. Yeah, you know, they'll all go. Some guys have the flu and stuff today, so there's some guys out sick, and there's bumps and bruises, but nothing. But I, but Milton Robinson had the flu. Or? Josh Robinson. Oh, yeah. yeah. Milton Robinson. Mil yeah, Milton and Robinson. Yeah, I think they both had the flu today. So. You're a little hoarse, too, so like. Yeah, well, I mean, I, my voice, i got to get my voice in shape for, for camp, right? I mean, I guess I've, been, I've, I've got to yell at the staff more in the offseason so I can train and be ready to go. <laughs>